a British tourist has claimed she was raped by her taxi driver in the municipality of Heraklion on the Greek island of Crete. The 43-year-old woman told authorities in the resort town of Hersonisos that she was abused by the driver after he picked her up from a bar in the early hours of May 31st. The woman claimed that instead of taking her to her hotel, the driver found an isolated spot and proceeded to rape her in the vehicle. Sonisos police last week arrested a 28-year-old man based on the information given by the victim but did not release further details. The 43-year-old was taken to a local hospital to undergo a medical examination, while her alleged attacker was interviewed by prosecutors. The man who steadfastly denied the accusations of rape and claimed the sex was consensual according to Greek news outlet Protogema, was released on Friday pending further investigation. Mail Online has approached the British Embassy in Greece for comment. It comes just weeks after another British holidaymaker was allegedly raped in Corfu by a hotel worker. A British mother told police in Corfu last month she woke up after and head out to find a hotel worker on top of her, according to a police source. A 40-year-old man arrested by police denied the accusations and claimed the sex had been consensual. The woman, who officers said was in bad condition when she arrived, went to a police station in the north of the Greek island to report the crime and later identified the hotel worker brought in by police officers as her alleged attacker. A police source told The Sun Online that the woman had been on holiday with her boyfriend in northern Corfu. After a night out, the couple came back to the hotel but the woman woke to find a man on top of her, the source said. The accused remains in custody while a case is brought against him. A spokesperson for the Foreign and Commonwealth Office said, We are in contact with Greek authorities following an incident in Corfu, and stand ready to provide support if requested. Figures from the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office FCDO, show at least 74 British nationals reported being raped or sexually assaulted between 2016 and 2018 in Greece alone. Matthew Lodge, a former Royal Marine now working as the UK's ambassador to Greece, in April signed off on new funding to allow Greek officials to get training from British police in how to deal with and prevent serious sexual assault cases. The FCDO is funding the workshops with the aim of improving the support offered to British nationals reporting gender-based violence in Greece. Athens-based Matthew told the Liverpool Echo in April, the willingness of authorities across Greece to work with the British Embassy on this topic makes us optimistic for the future. All of this work should help make British holidaymakers, and expats living in Greece, feel safer and better supported. Matthew, a 53-year-old dad of two, added, We are determined to do anything we can to help survivors of rape and sexual assaults by showcasing the survivor-focused approach used in the UK. A 
a Greek delegation including a deputy prosecutor, four police officers and two psychologists recently visited Scotland to get an insight into how gender-based violence is handled. People can be proud that the Greek authorities are using the UK's expertise to shape the way they deal with these sorts of cases in future.